Yeah, hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial for marmoworld.com. My name is Matthias Müll and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can use pins and boxes to create dynamic layouts where you merge several boxes into one single shape. So you can see here I have three texts, this squash and stretch and merge boxes and tip 5. And we have essentially three boxes, like one around each of those texts, but they are merged into a single shape. You can see that you've got one outline uh, along the entire thing. So it's just one shape technically, and I show you how this is done. So here I have a version of my project where I just have a single box around our main text. So we have the main text layer and here our additional text layer, and we have some pins. We have some pins here at the center, top and bottom, where I parented this text and this text too, such that when the middle text here gets longer, they nicely move with it. I also already keyframed some animation here, which I've done using our position controls here to ensure that it moves exactly as much as needed, no matter how high this text layer here is. And we've got these two pins here, which are used to create this box around this entire text. Now I want to extend this box to also include a region around this text and a region around this text. And the way I'm doing this is to create independent boxes for those parts first. So I select this text and say please create some pins for me. Shift click and say I need two pins to create a box around this text. And they are now created here immediately above our text and the matte layer moved higher. So we need to move the matte layer down again to make our text appear. And now we select this text and again say, please create some pins for me. Fix the placement of the matte. And now we can create our boxes. So let's start with the box around this part and make sure it's a shape layer box, but we don't care about the styling at this point because from this box, we actually just want to steal the content. Yeah, so we twirl down the layer here, go to contents, and inside the contents you find the box group, and I just want to copy that. Now we can delete the layer. And now we go to our main box here, again reveal the contents, and you can see it has already a box group, of course, and now I say edit paste to get a second box group, box group 2. Now we do the same with this text here. So we select the two pins, create a box from the box, we co copy in the contents the box group. Then we can delete the box. Go to our main box here in the contents group and say edit paste. Now you can see these additional boxes have been added to our shape and they react now also to the margin controls of the layer that we pasted it to. But they render as three individual shapes. Yeah? And to avoid this we select the contents group and add a merge path. Now the merge path is below our three box groups and turns them into a single group. Also below this a stroke and a fill was added automatically, but we actually don't want to have these strokes and fills with the current default settings here, but instead from our original box group we take the fill and the stroke, cut it, command X, and paste them here in the contents. Then we can delete our other stroke and fills again and have now the same style around our entire content. So the general approach is copy the box groups of the other shape layers into the shape layer that you want to use, apply a merge path behind this, and after the merge path, the fill and the stroke that you want to have for this entire thing. Now, if you want to adjust the rounded corners, for example, you can go into the individual groups, go to the box rectangle, and adjust the roundedness however you like. And this can be done for all box groups independently. And now, of course, if any of those texts animates, our shape updates accordingly. So this is how you create a single shape around several texts when creating dynamic layouts with pins and boxes for After Effects. Again, this is Matthias Müll for marmoworld.com. I hope you found those tutorials useful and have fun with pins and boxes.